Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a quick video tutorial on making video files smaller for upload to YouTube. Now, uh, the main reason that I thought of doing this video was I just exported my video. Here it is. Here, so I'm gonna right click get info. I cut 2.9 gigabytes. So uh, obviously, um, this might be okay in some other countries with much faster internet speeds, but here in uh, Southwest England. Our internet speeds are pretty terrible. We're kind of not in the countryside, but we are. Well, we kind of are, but it's not like a farm, <laughs> but it's we're just kind of not exactly in the big city. So our upload speeds are terrible, and it normally takes me, you know, ages to upload like a 500 meg file. So, and I'm talking like three hours. Okay, so with that being a mega big problem, 2.9 gigs isn't really feasible. I'd have to leave it on for maybe 12 hours, maybe even 24 hours, just to upload this video. I don't think that's worth it, considering even if, especially if you're like a smaller YouTuber, anyone really, you know, 2.9 gigs on like a 100 kilobit per second upload speed, that's that's just, you know, that's insane. So, it's a brilliant application, you've probably heard of it, called Handbrake. Handbrake is just a video encoder, it will change from like .mov to .mp4, .m4v, it's also great for, for movies and such, uh, for ripping them off CDs or DVDs or whatever. And what we're going to do is when I ask you to upload a file, instead of clicking a disc or whatever, we're actually going to click uh, the video. So here it is here, 2.9 gigs, 720p, 10 minutes, hence <laughs> the massive size. And then it's audio and just up the uh, the bitrate because I don't want crappy sounding audio. Leave it at H.264, that's what YouTube uploads in. MP4 file, and you can rename it, put it wherever you want, and just click start. Now this shouldn't take too long. Depending on the spec of your computer, this is a quad-core, uh, 3.4 gigahertz Ivy Bridge uh, i5 processor. So it's going to take me. Look, there it is. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Uh, not that long. If you, you know, maybe you're on Core 2 Duo or maybe just i3 or something like that, it might probably take half the time of your video, uh, depending on whether it's 720p or 1080p. That's normally the rule. Um, exporting it normally takes double the time or just the amount of time uh, of your video. And then with re-encoding, it normally takes the time or half. That's just kind of the rule if you understand me there. Okay, so it's just about finishing. We've got eight seconds left, seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds. If you look over to the top right, we have this drop down menu. This is iStat menus if you want to have this. As you can see, we've got all four processing cores going at 100%, and now they're calming down. Put down that cocktail, your handbrake queue is done. Now you can put multiple things in here, and what you'll do is say you click on here, look, my computer build, add to queue. Ah, oh, I can't really do that. Hold on. Let's just change the name. Oh, crap. Right, <laughs> documents, SD, 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 uh, add to queue, right, then we're going to source, do that one, put that there, add to queue, click start, and it will do both of them together, and, you know, it will encode them without you having to keep going back, adding in, you know, etc, etc, so after we've done that, we can just quit that, and I always recommend doing it in MP4 just so you don't have to rename anything. So we just drag these two down here. This one up here is the original one. Right click, get info. 216 megabyte from 2.9 gigabyte. Now you can see the little pictures. Yeah, this one's a little bit darker. This one's a little bit lighter. So in your editing program, just up the exposure a little bit. You know, you might, you don't even have to do that, but still. So what we're going to do is we're just going to preview this clip here. And then we're going to go over to preview this clip. It's not that much difference. Actually, this other one's a bit bigger. Uh, I don't know whether that's just me being, uh, my computer being a bit annoying. But yeah, there's not really any noticeable difference. And by the time you've uploaded it to YouTube, and sorry about that, I just smacked the camera. By the time you've uploaded it to YouTube, and YouTube compresses it like a bitch like they always do, it won't, it won't even matter whether you've waited 24 hours to upload the 2.9 gigabyte file 
or you've just done this for two minutes and got a 216 megabyte file you know YouTube it won't matter say you've put it on Vimeo maybe you'll see a tiny tiny minuscule little bit but even the, the most like um, OCD of people won't even notice it on YouTube so it's a great it's a brilliant way again it's handbrake it's free application it's freeware so you can go and download it uh, even if you're not going to use it you may as well just have it on your computer it's only a few megs and it's just very helpful you can rip dvds you can compress files you can encode them in any other kind of video format it's just a brilliant program so i hope you enjoyed the video please thumbs it up and add it to your favorites and comment down below for any suggestions for other videos or other things you want to see if you want to see me out if you want to see a video on how to rip dvds i'll also put that in you know etc etc subscribe and such and i hope you enjoy the video